What role can the media play before, during, and, and after the Olympics to improve horse welfare? Um, Hugh, this is your, your one, really. <laughs> I always think that politicians talking about the media is pretty dangerous ground, actually. Um, if there is, um, I mean, I've been involved in this area now for seven years, both in opposition and now in government. And if there's one thing I always plea, plea for from the media, um, I don't expect you always to agree with, with me or with the government. Indeed, you wouldn't be doing your job if you did. But I always plea for, for balance. And actually, in the, when you look at the issues of horse welfare, and this is, I think, very well highlighted in some of the earlier presentations, what we really want is a more balanced view. Um, I suspect if you look at a debate like the whip, there are certain people you are never going to please in any way, sense, or, any way, sense shape, or form. But there is, I think, a majority of people who will subscribe to a sensible, balanced solution in the middle. So I would encourage the media, when addressing these issues, not to go for the hysterical things that very often attract a headline, but to try and present the arguments in a balanced way and then allow people to come to their own conclusions. Thank, thank you very much. Um, a few words on that. I would probably come under the same heading as you in terms of talking about the media. Um, I think the closer you are to knowing anything about a subject, uh, the more cynical you become about the media, almost in any shape or form. And I'm sorry to say even the sports journalists seem to have fallen uh, for the trap of being endlessly popular uh, in, in a way that they didn't used to be. And for them, too, I think it's a real effort to battle with their editors to get actually what is the story, the proper part of the story, um, whatever the subject matter is, in, in the right balance, uh, however hard they try. Uh, that's a bit depressing, and maybe it's more a question of educating the readers rather than hoping that the journalists are going to be able to win over the, either the editors or those who feel that um, the headlines are more important than the story. The, for readers, it tends to be to start at the other end of the paper and read the bottom two paragraphs first. Um, then you may get some grip of what the real story is, um, and ignore the headlines to all intents and purposes because they won't be very helpful. It is slightly depressing that, you know, we are all led by the simplistic, the headlines, what people assume, uh, what the editors and the newspapers assume is going to sell information. Not necessarily in newspaper form, but in the electronic forms is even in, in more popular to go for the headline issues. And I'm not quite sure how we persuade them to do anything else because that's how they see uh, their role in life, but I do think educating the readers to maybe to, to be uh, slightly more picky and, and maybe even responsible in the way in which they approach um, what they find in, in, in the media in all its forms. And I wouldn't absolve, actually, television media from this either. I think we've gone from the printed word being the truth, some, I think connected to the printing of the Bible first, um, realizing that that may not be true, to saying pictures don't lie, to understanding they can lie, and they can be tailored in a way to completely misconstrue a story. I mean, I'm afraid we who maybe depend on the media just have to make sure that we accept that it's very easy to do that, uh, and to really ask the questions of the media to, to get them to get it right, or to go to the source of um, the story in the first place. But to get balance in, in journalism nowadays is, is really difficult. And even if you talk to individual journalists about the stories they actually wrote and the ones that came out, uh, it's, this is not an easy balance. Thank you. Do you want to say something? Um, no, talking, <laughs> keep talking. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I completely, completely agree with that. And I think as, as riders, I'm speaking with my rider's hat on now, I think we've definitely got to take the opportunity to, to get the media on side and as Roly was saying earlier it's trying to put get the media to put those images across and and I would open my yard up and I know many other riders would like to open their their yards up and actually running up to the games actually show and and get the media to portray what we do in a very positive light because 99.9% .9 of the time, there are no negatives. And as you were saying, it isn't taking things out of context because 
I'll hold up my hand and all of us know with horses there are situations from their safety, from riders' safety, from everyone's safety, sometimes problems have to be dealt with and the media can see that and they could portray that but they wouldn't see the, they might not portray four minutes later the results of a happy horse, a safer horse and, and that's what I mean, it's, it is taking those things um, or not taking those things out of context. Um, that to me is one of the main things and, and, and to really promote the fact the work that, that we do do and the positive sides of, of the sport rather than just focusing on those nasty pictures of, of fools and things.